Just let us know when we're ready. You're ready. All right, man. Oh, we did it, dude. Right right Pro turf. Yeah, we Pro made turf. it. Pro turf. We are tired. Uh, it was a long, that was Fry. a long, that was long, Fry. it was a long trip. Um, it's a lot of sun. AC did not work the entire trip, but um, we had some setbacks. Yeah. We, Do we even remember what they all were? Uh, we didn't get out of, we, we were, when we were the first day when we were heading to Memphis, we didn't make it out of Nashville uh, without a spark plug wire coming loose. Yeah. And then uh, what was the fuel system started to grenade itself about two thirds of the way to Memphis. Jackson, Tennessee. That one. Um, we the whole inside it in. of the tank just oh, it just fell apart. Yeah. Uh, we limped it into Memphis and got our got our credentials and stuff, and then had to swap the whole fuel tank and fuel tank, fuel pump, fuel filter, and blow out all the lines in the hotel parking lot. Um, and that old fuel tank is now in my backyard somewhere. Uh, That's fine. What else? We had to. We had to reseat the coolant hose and double clamp it with Gorilla Tape because mm -hmm. it was leaking. We had to, oh, the transmission took a dump completely. EGR valve. EGR, we replaced the EGR valve. Uh -huh. uh, and then the transmission no longer has overdrive, so that's nice. We have at least three-ish gears. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more like, it's probably closer to 2.8. Carry the two. Okay, right. yeah. <sighs> well, we made it. We did. We're here. And uh, we have some people to thank. And since I'm so terrible to remember these things, I'm just bad at it. I, I, I wrote everything down. So uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Brandon and Christopher and the others at O'Reilly in uh, Auto Parts in Mount Juliet. Oh, those guys are great. Uh, they, Not just Brandon and Chris. like the, the, All of them, they're, but they're, the Brandon, Brandon and Christopher just, I mean, there were several nights where we went up there and were just in an absolute pickle. And they just jumped in and yeah. jumped right in and helped us get through it. So big shout out and thanks to O'Reilly's and Mount Juliet. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Dave and Jessica. Yeah. Or, Dave, Dave goes, and but... Jessica Sweat. Uh, yeah. They were in Memphis. They had some problems with their own. They passed us in the parking lot and just stopped. And Well, Dave was over there yeah. filling, filling his transmission with clutch fluid because yeah. he's got his own set of problems because power tour. And... Once he got done with that, he came over and helped us swap the fuel tank, and uh, he and Jessica convoyed with us for the rest of the tour. We made friends. It was awesome. They were they were really nice people. They're great people. We had dinner. We ate breakfast together. Dinner together. We shared meals. We yeah. shared time at Power Tour. We we did. It was great. And so we sweated together. Yeah. We got greasy. We got we wrenched on each other's cars. Yep. So you guys are awesome. Thank you, uh, cousin Mike. Mike yep. Lunsell, off in Virginia, he answered some questions on the phone, helped us get through, through some things, and was willing to, at one point, take parts off of his own GMT 400 Chevy truck, mail them to us in a box, just so we could get going and figure out what was going wrong. We were not, we didn't have to do that, it ends up, but yeah. but he would, just the fact that he was willing to do that oh, yeah. was awesome. Um, Hot Rod Chad, yep. Malden. Yep. Uh, old guy I've known since high school, um, answered some questions for us. Jeremiah and Norm, uh, from, uh, VGG, VGG Nation, uh, that's Vice Grip Garage Nation, it's a group, and, uh, they, they were both just helping us, like, basically, uh, diagnose problems oh, via yeah. messenger. Yep. We would tell them, we would send them videos and, and pictures, and we're having this problem, and they were like, try this, try this, try this. That got us through some things. Yep. That's how we discovered the the sensors being all wacko. Do for ten. Yes, yeah, so everything together. Is basically in, in, a, in a loop. Um, Chris uh, at Busted Radio Garage. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know you didn't make it, didn't make it, buddy. I, I know that you had to pull out. Uh, uh, your, your car just really took a big stumble there, but... Uh, I know you. I know you. You'll you'll get you'll get it at it next year. That's what you'll do, and you'll get after it. And uh, apparently uh, in September, right? Well, uh, yeah. No name nationals. I think he said he was going to shoot for that. Yeah. He had some just overheating issues and yeah, yeah, some other problems. Man, the but, heat was killing cars left and right this year. I don't. I'm sure it has every yeah. year, but this is the first yeah. year we've been to it, so it was left and right this year. 
uh, but so him and then Nick, Nick from Struggle, Struggle Bourbon Garage. So these guys, basically, this was like, especially Chris and, and Nick. So Nick was like a good source of humor because we'd kind of just tell him what was going on. And he was just like, yeah, send some joke back, which that, that's Nick. He's awesome. So and Chris was uh, Chris was just very supportive and keeping up with us to make sure we were OK. Always offering to help. At one point, he actually told us if we had to bring our truck up to his shop in Kentucky, Mm -hmm. that we'd figure it out kind yep. of thing. And I was yep. like, we, we, again, we figured it out on our own, but, uh, we, uh, we, we, we didn't have to do that. But, but the fact that he even offered that is, oh, yeah. is awesome. That's support um, network. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of other random people on the BGG nation page, um, you know, just answering questions and asking me, you know, to try this, try that, try this, uh, your family. Oh Yeah. There were there were a lot of a lot of parts that they sponsored that, that went into this. Yeah, I mean they were they were they were kind enough to. I mean, you could argue just right up front that they were kind enough to let us have the truck. Exactly, but the tr have the truck, but also like I flew down to Houston and they they gave me a place to stay and fed me and took care of me and and drove us back helped drive us back and forth to yeah. to get parts in Austin and your dad was right there helping us put the truck up on the trailer and everything else we were trying and it was frustrating and and uh they just were right there with us and, and your mom was you know right there just making sure uh everything was taken care of and we were fine and <clears throat> and lastly and i'll let you say that one but uh, what are we, what are we, where are we at the very last one there oh yeah yeah um i want to thank vernon courier for buying just one hell of a truck i know he loved this truck and by god so do we it's it's been awesome um we know this this was his vacation truck and we figured what what better way to kind of help his memory live on than sort of take on a vacation of our own big burn perter perter, perter.